My name is Ayanda, then my surname is Mamve. Every morning, I wake up at five, I prepare uh, for my uh, journey to work. You know, as a teacher, you need to be very smart uh, because you know, you are a, a role model to these young ones. Yes, you know, we are preparing a country with uh, people who, are, who, are, who, who will guard uh, this country who will take it forward in future yes now we need to prepare ourselves as teachers in a very very modest way where there is nothing there is the power of music the modest mr manve is a classical musician composer and music teacher at okolweni senior secondary school in a village 20 kilometers outside of umtata in the eastern cape Having grown up in a similar village, he only wants the best for his learners. Poland is built on a hill. If you approach it, it's right on a hill as you can see there. Uh, because the slope takes you up there to the top. Uh, it's an old place, as you see, there are old buildings within the, the village. Yes, there's farming, agriculture, yes, uh, that is the terrain of this community. I'm coming from a home whereby my father uh, was a prison band member. Yes, I could go to, to all their parades, all their performances as police were doing their drills in Namtata. I could go as a young boy to watch them, you know. It became now a, an affection in me as years go by, growing all the way to high school. Uh, I had a, 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 just an idea in me that I, I, I need to do this music, to take it and pursue it, to impart knowledge about it, yes, at a very, very high level in communities. Between these notes, we have tones. We have what? Tones. Between this one and this one is a tone. Between three and four is a what? It's a what? Semitone. Semi it's a what? Semitone. Between four and five, it's a tone? It's a tone. Five and six? Tone. Six and seven? Tone. Seven and eight? Semitone. Short distance. It's a what? Short distance. Right. Diamonds are found uh, in rough areas, in rough terrains. Uh, so I felt that this terrain where I am, uh, it's not that rural, but okay, I will make it to look fancy, you see, <laughs> and polish uh, its diamonds. We always encourage them that, hey, look, there are people who, not all of you guys who are going to be academics and stuff, maybe you are going to have a career in music, so you better sharpen your, your, your tools whilst you are still at this age. Go 
Nogolweni is a typical South African village, a community with few resources and opportunities where less than 30% of learners matriculate. Omis Demanve believes that music has the power to influence beyond the classroom. Music helps his learners cope with their daily struggles. You know, I saw it is not enough to end it on the board, you see, to end it on the stave. It doesn't end there. Music is sound. That's how I was taught at a tertiary level when I did my teacher's course, uh, that music is sound. Omis Demanvi wants to be the best, not just for himself, but for his students. He is the true epitome of excellence. And so in the pursuit of his dream to upscale his skills, he enrolled in a music exam of international standard, the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music. I did a grade five certificate in theory of music from ABRSM, which is a board uh, that controls uh, examinations all over the world. Yes, so it, it gives you uh, at least some grounds to say I can be able to teach or talk uh, about music everywhere I go. He decided to reach out to a representative who works with the Royal College of Music, who then helped him get a scholarship for the exam, Bridget Harrison. I met Ayanda, as I do most teachers, over the telephone. And he phoned me to ask about doing a singing exam. But I remember that phone call very distinctly because I just felt like there was something more that we needed to be talking about. The words that I keep using when I try and describe Ayanda is always articulate because I think he just has a way of putting his thoughts into words. He, he just has an incredible way of doing that. What he's doing with violin ensemble, the marimba band, um, teaching individuals, <clears throat> that is things that he's all doing over and above what he is, he is required to do at the school. Mr. Manve was teaching creative arts in grade 8. That's how I met Mr. Manve in grade 8. I loved the violin. I was amazed by the children who played the violin like with so fast and with passion. So that um, brought inspiration to me that I too, I must learn the instrument. So I was inspired by other children who were playing the violin. It cools my mind, so after I have done everything, including school stuff, it, it somehow um, brings relaxation to my mind. So it um, makes me imagine that I could be a professional violin player one day. I, I've seen that if I do not visit my instrument, the violin, I, I'm slow in solving the complex problems. So yeah, the violin has deeply changed my life. Catch, catch, catch. 
Developing countries usually emphasize math and science in education. However, the Eastern Cape has a long history of embracing classical music, composing and the arts. And one thing about Umis Demambe, he is going to do everything to uphold this high standard of musical excellence and continue this legacy. SPS, Music is important for the community because it keeps people together. And then it protects others from things like drugs, theft, being involved in unsafe things. So music gathers people together. So it's really important, very, very important. I believe that here at school we have managed yes to get one set of marimba, but we need more. We've got a, 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 just a bunch of learners that are hungry. Some are still coming their way to this school because they've heard others talking about the music that is exciting in their school. Uh, how nice is it to play marimbas, how nice is it to play violins, drumming as well. With the expertise that Mr. Mamve has, he could teach anywhere in the world, but he chose to seek greener pastures on the hills of Ikokolwin. His love for this place and its people brings him to song. Jesus. 